Hey guys, Brett here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the WP Traffic Up WordPress plugin. Now, I have it installed on my testing WordPress site. When I first started using this, I didn't watch any of the tutorials that were built into the members area, and I am going to say there are no tutorials built into the plugin itself. This is something that I normally don't like, uh, and I really wish they would have put tutorials inside of it. However, the tutorials are very clear and easy to follow that are in the members area, and I'm actually going to stress strongly suggest you watch those tutorials because me personally when I started testing this I installed the plugin on my site and then I didn't know what to do I didn't know how to use it but when I watched the tutorials it was very clear it was very easy and it's just going to be so much easier if you watch those tutorials they're only a couple of minutes long and it's going to make your life a lot more simple as soon as I watched them I understood exactly what this did exactly what it was for and exactly how to use it so after you install the plugin on your site, the first thing you're going to want to do is go over here on the left hand side and click on the settings menu. You're going to see it's going to add a new sub menu called WP Traffic Up. You're going to go ahead and click on that so that way you can set up the plugin so you can use it. Now there's actually two ways that you can use the WP Traffic Up plugin. The first way is you can make it site wide so it's active on every post and every page inside of your site. The second way is you can add it per post inside of the post editor. That's probably going to be the most preferred way. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that in a second. However, there is one thing you're definitely going to want to enter inside of the settings, and that is your license key. If you don't enter in your license key, you're not going to be able to use the plugin, and you can get your license key from the members area as well. So I have my license key entered already. I blanked it out here so that way we can't see it in this video because I don't want to give away a free license key to anybody. But I already have it installed and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to use this plugin on a per post basis. Again, if you want to make it site wide, you can go ahead and click on this link and make it site wide and enter in your settings here. And then it will be on every post and every page. But I want to show you per post. So what you're going to want to do is go over here to your posts. You're going to add a new post, or you can edit an existing post if you want. And what you can see here is very standard. This is the WordPress post editor, where you can go ahead and enter in your post title and your post text. Now, I'm just going to enter in some dummy test text, so I'll call this my testing post. And for the text here, I'm just going to say this is a test post. Now, normally you would have a lot more text on here. You would make it an actual post on your site. But what I want to show you is the new menu that the WP Traffic Up plugin added. You can see it right down here. And I'm going to go ahead and check to make it enabled. It's going to ask me for a URL. Now, this is the URL that I want to pull into this post. What WP Traffic Up actually does is it pulls in another site or another web page into your post and it's triggered by the user trying to leave your website so if somebody is viewing this web page and they try to leave this is going to trigger and then it's going to pull in another page it's basically an on exit intent plugin that pulls in an entire new website over that page and the idea here is that you can capture that person so a site visitor comes to your site they're reading one of your posts they're about to leave but you can go ahead and show them another site this could be a squeeze page this could be an offer this could be a bonus a freebie a special anything that you can get to capture that person before they actually leave your site before they actually bounce away and they're lost forever so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter in the URL to one of my squeeze pages so I'll go ahead and enter in it right here and for this example I just enter in the URL of one of my freebie pages so on my blog I have a freebie section where I give away free plugins in exchange for an opt-in. I entered in the URL for one of those. I can select an animation. There are several different animations here. I'm just going to use uh, fade in. I could select a delay for loading if I want to delay the loading a second. I don't want to do that. So this is all I have to do now. All I need to do is enter in enabled, the URL that I want to come in, and my animation, which can be pretty much any animation I want. It just matters which one I like and which one looks good to me. So let's go ahead and save this now. Let's publish this. And now let's go ahead and view this post. 
Okay, so there's really nothing in this post because it's just a test post. All it says is testing post. This is a test. And watch what happens, though, if somebody goes and tries to leave this page. So I'm going to go ahead and move my mouse up to the top of the screen, and it's going to trigger the plugin. And you can see it now automatically changed over to my Brett Ritecki blog that's giving away my free Jack Jacker plugin. Now, I choose this page as my exit. I could have chosen any page that I wanted. It could have been a squeeze page. It could have been a freebie page. It could have been an affiliate offer, a special, anything I want. The idea here, though, is that the person is about to leave the page. They're moving their mouse to the top of the screen. I know they're getting ready to click away. So instead of leaving them on that page and letting them click away, what I do is I show them something else, something else that could grab their attention and either keep them on my site or get them to opt in or in some way allow me to capture that person so that way they're not lost forever they don't just bounce away and they're gone forever now there's a couple of important things to note about this the first thing is the user doesn't actually leave my website so I pulled in my Brett Ritecki website as the on exit but they didn't actually leave my testing website they're still on my testing website this plugin actually pulls in the URL that I want. It doesn't change me to the URL, doesn't redirect me to the URL. So this is not a redirecting plugin. It's a plugin that pulls in my target URL over my website when the person tries to leave. And this is advantageous because there is an option here that allows people to close it out. And if they close it out, they will still be on my website. Another thing that's important to note here is that this doesn't trigger when somebody clicks on my links. So it's not like it's an on exit if people just leave the page that it's going to trigger. So I can actually browse around the website and it's not going to unintentionally trigger that on exit. The on exit only triggers when somebody moves their mouse outside of the top of the browser window. This is important because the only real reason somebody's going to move their mouse out the top of the browser window is to either click on a button in the browser to navigate away or to enter in a new URL. Once somebody starts to do that, the plugin will trigger and it'll give you that final chance to capture that person, to grab their attention, or to get them to opt in before they bounce away from your site forever. So let me show you it one more time. This could be any type of post that I wanted. Again, it's just a testing post, but let's just assume this is a real post. Somebody's here on this site. They're reading the content. They say, okay, time to leave, time to go to back to Facebook or YouTube or do something else. I got, they go to move their mouse out and move away, and it automatically changes over to my WordPress blog, pulling it into this site, not just redirecting them and showing them my freebie offer. And again, as I said, I could have pulled in any website. I just used my blog as an example. I could have just as easily pulled in a squeeze page that I have somewhere or an opt-in page that I have somewhere or even a special offer or an affiliate offer that I'm promoting if I want to. The important thing is that you're not just showing them that same content when they're getting ready to leave. You're showing them something new and you're getting another opportunity to keep them, to grab their attention, or to get them to opt in. So what do I think of this WordPress plugin overall? Well, I'm going to be totally honest. It's not a completely unique system. There have been other plugins that had on exits or exit intent triggers, but most of these other plugins are pop-ups. They'll just show a little pop-up box. This actually allows you to pull in a complete website. And that's important because you can pull in something with more content and you can even pull in an affiliate offer if you want to. I think that the idea here is really good because as you're running a website, you're going to notice that about 50, 60, 70, even as much as 80% of your traffic is just going to bounce away. And this gives you an opportunity to capture that bounce traffic. It gives you one last chance to engage them before they bounce away. And honestly, even if you could just capture a fraction of the traffic that's bouncing away, it's going to be well worth having this plugin. This plugin is sold at a very low, very reasonable cost. It comes with some great bonuses and it's super easy to use. You can see all you have to do is click on the enable
enabled button, enter in your URL, choose your animation, and that's it. It's that simple. You're set up and ready to go. Because of this, I think this WordPress plugin is going to be something well worth investing in if you're running a WordPress site. It's very simple to use, and it's going to be very advantageous to have one last chance to capture your bounce traffic before they go away. I particularly like the fact that it doesn't trigger when people click on a link inside your site. A lot of times you see plugins that have on exit pop-ups, but if somebody clicks a link inside the site, it triggers the pop-up. That's not what you want. What you want is to trigger only when somebody is leaving your site, and that is exactly what WP Traffic Up does. Alrighty guys, thank you and enjoy.